Hey everybody, welcome back to another recipe video. Today we're going to be making three different shimmer body oils. One for light skin tones, one for medium skin tones, and one for darker skin tones. Each of these body shimmers give so much like shimmer and sparkle. Like honestly, looking back on this footage, I am surprised how well it showed up on camera. The whole time I was recording this video, I kept thinking it wasn't showing up on the viewfinder on the camera. But now that I look back at this footage, I'm like, wow, these are really sparkly. Anyways, here is the formula. I'm gonna only be making 20 grams of each. I didn't wanna make too much of each, so if you wanna scale up the recipe, feel free to do that. And this is the recipe for a 20 gram batch. So I'm gonna start by making the base for all of these body shimmers. And then later I'll show you how much of each mica I used in each body shimmer in case you want to create the same exact pigments that I created. All right, so I'm picking three small 50 milliliter beakers. And the first ingredient I'm adding in is Olive Wax LC. This helps stabilize oil and water emulsions, but it's not an all-in-one emulsifier. It just helps thicken emulsions and stabilize the formula. And I chose this ingredient specifically because it does a really good job at keeping the mica suspended. I tested out some other emulsifiers and co-emulsifiers and none of them worked as well as the Ola Wax LC. If you don't add in the Ola Wax LC, your mica powder will just settle to the bottom and then you'll just have to shake the product every time you wanna use it, which is fine, but if you want to avoid that, use Ola Wax LC. So I added in 1.2 grams of Ola Wax LC into each of my beakers. Then I'm gonna use some Caprolic Capric Triglyceride. This is a lightweight, clear, odorless, non-staining, non-greasy liquid oil, and it's easily absorbed into the skin, so it's a much better alternative than natural oils. That way, this doesn't feel really heavy on our skin. You can use a plant oil if you would like, though, like olive oil or almond oil. It'll just feel greasier. And I added in 16.7 grams of the Caprolic Capric Triglyceride into each of my beakers. So now it's time to heat up all of our beakers to melt the Ola Wax LC. So I filled a pan with about half an inch of water and placed my beakers into the pan and I'm going to place this over a stove top on about medium heat. That way we can melt the Ola Wax LC. So once it's melted, take all your beakers out of the pan, off the heat, and we want to add in 0.1 grams of vitamin E into each of these. Vitamin E isn't necessary, but it's wonderful for your skin and it just keeps the product fresh. It's not a preservative, just helps keep everything fresher since it's an antioxidant. But since we're not using natural oils in this product, we don't really have to worry about that as much. So you don't really need the vitamin E if you don't have it. Now it's time to add in our micas. So you wanna pick micas that are shimmery, obviously, since this is a body shimmer. I just went on madmica.com and picked out a bunch of samples of shades and shimmers and stuff that I thought would work well for what I wanted to achieve. So I recommend doing that. And as you can see, the recipe calls for two grams of mica powder. So we need to make sure the amount of mica we add in adds up to two grams. And I'll show you the exact amounts I use for each of the shades I created. So the first shimmer body oil is for light skin. And that's the exact recipe I used. Here is what the pigment looked like before I added it in. I ended up using 0.2 grams of Quicksilver. And actually, I didn't end up adding up to two grams for some reason. I don't know what I did here. Um, I used 0.6 grams of Sparkle Me Bold and then 0.4 grams of Sparkle Plenty. Clearly doesn't add up to two grams, but it's still a lot of pigment and this one was so shimmery. So I accidentally messed up, but it's okay because the shimmer body oil still turned out super, super shimmery and perfect. So it's okay if it's not perfect. Mistakes can be made with this, thankfully. But I added in all the mica powders and then just mixed it in. And I added them in when the formula was still hot. You don't really have to wait for it to cool to any specific temperature. Just add them in and mix it in. So now moving on to the medium skin toned body shimmer. This is the exact recipe I used for it. Here is how the beautiful micas looked before I added them in. But I used 0.8 grams of Summer Bronze, 0.8 grams of Sparkle Sunshine, which is so gorgeous. And then I added in 0.4 grams of Golden Buddha. And this is how it looked. And this one actually added up to two grams. So I did this one correctly. And just pour them into your beaker. It will take a minute for the Ola Wax to solidify. So you don't really have to rush this at all. 
And now moving on to the one for dark skin, here is the exact recipe I used. And here are what the beautiful mica powders looked like before I added them in. I used two grams of tall, dark, and handsome, 0.8 grams of summer bronze, 0.8 grams of sparkle sunshine, and then 0.2 grams of golden Buddha. All right, so what I'm going to do is just cover all of these beakers with some plastic wrap and I'm gonna place them in the refrigerator to let them cool down. I do this because I'd rather them like cool down as quick as possible because you do need to come back periodically and mix it to kind of keep the mica mixed in. So I kind of do that for a minute until they just cool for a little bit in room temperature and then I'll cover them, place them in the fridge and I kind of won't really go back to them for a couple hours. And then after a couple hours, unwrap them, give them a mix, and you'll notice they will have a little bit of a viscosity to them. They're not thick at all. They're kind of more of like a, I don't know, it's just a really thin viscosity, like Gogurt maybe. I don't know, that's the only thing I can think of to compare it to. But yeah, now they're all ready to bottle up. I'm using these half ounce clear glass dropper bottles, but I really wanted to use these bottles. Look how freaking adorable these bottles are. I bought them on Amazon. I'll link to these ones and also the clear ones that I used for the actual formula. But let me know what you guys want me to make with these two ounce glass, beautiful colored dropper bottles. Cause I really want to make something with these. So let me know what you want to see. And um, yeah, look how crazy my hand was shaking when I was trying to fill up that freaking bottle. Oh my gosh, but whatever. I never use funnels and I don't know why, but I got the bottle filled up. It was okay. I didn't make a mess. I just shaked like crazy for some reason. Anyways, there is the body shimmer, all finished for light skin. It's beautiful, super shimmery, just as gorgeous and shimmery as this one for medium skin toned, and I didn't shake like crazy trying to fill up this one, thankfully. Very gorgeous, super shimmery. I love this one. I wish I could use it, but it's too dark for me. <laughs> and then lastly, this one is just as freaking gorgeous and shimmery as the other two, and again, I can't use it because it's too dark for me, but it's still so gorgeous. And um, I love the way all of these body shimmers turned out. Oh, here's one more thing I wanna show you guys. This is a tester I made a couple months ago. And if you see on the top, there's a little bit of separation. It's not a big deal. Quick little shake, a little flip upside down, and it's all mixed together again. It's really tricky to keep uh, mica powder suspended evenly, but this was the best formula I could come up with. So I hope you guys like it. And I tried so many different formulas to keep the mica evenly suspended and this was the best I came up with so I hope you guys like it. But here I am just kind of trying to demo each of these body shimmers by putting way too much on each of my arms. Uh, the idea behind it was I just wanted to show you guys like how much pigment was in each of these but then I just ended up with glitter on my arm everywhere and I couldn't get it off while recording the video this day. Anyways here I am using a realistic amount of each one and as you can see I already have shimmer all over my arms but anyways you only need like three drops per like section of your body, maybe even two. And then you just rub it in and it melts into your skin so easy. It's not greasy, it's not oily. And look at all of that glitter and shimmer. It is so gorgeous. And you only need a tiny, tiny amount. And then I use three drops of the medium skin toned one. And obviously it's too dark for me. Maybe if I have a little bit of a tan, it would probably work this summer. Yeah, I think if I had a little bit of a glow this summer, like I'll, I might be able to use this one. And then lots of glitter, so gorgeous. And then of course the dark skinned one is way too dark for me. So I only use two drops and look at how way too dark it is for me. But still lots of glitter and shimmers. So I hope you guys enjoyed these and I really do hope I did a good job on the one for the medium and dark skin tone since I don't have like medium or dark skin tone. It was a little bit harder for me to really test these out and stuff. Let me know if you guys try any of these and how you guys like them. And that's about it. So I'll talk to you guys next time. Later. Some music and find someone to listen